Yeah, yeah that's or... right. So, so Don, I know it sounds like a big number, and oftentimes people think, wow, I'm paying 5% if, in fact, that's what you're being charged. Um, and like I was alluding to, half of that typically goes to another realtor, right? We sell a lot of our own listings because we do a lot of marketing, so we'll give sellers a little bit of additional savings as well. But you know, when you think of it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your largest financial asset, right? So you can get the discount brokers who will charge you 1%, and at the end of the day, they're putting a for sale sign, doing very little marketing. They're trying to turn over a lot of volume, so you're not getting the proper representation, but you want somebody who can negotiate strong for you because really it's not about what you pay, it's what you net. I mean, I think that's the key distinction, right? So even in our model, we have different staggered fee structures based on the amount of advertising you want, et cetera. But you know, what we find when the market starts changing, I mean, this, these discount brokers, they fall by the wayside because they can't, you know, this, they can't, that business model only works when there's a lot of volume and they're just turning over properties and they're probably pricing them maybe a little bit lighter just to move them. Our mandate is to get the client as much money as we can. I mean, so what you net, what we always tell our sellers is really the key criteria. And we've had a lot of people who've had a bad experience with, you know, these folks and 